how it is getting placed and uh, i mean and how much of distance it is getting required you know <coughs> you can see that in the first picture you can see there is just an uh, just a circular opening and there is a cabinet or door type of uh, stuff stuff you know uh, the person is getting uh, okay just a minute just a minute, just a minute huh? yeah so in this image in this slide you can see that there is an opening basically and this opening is very small in comparison to uh, the position that we have already placed you know in the core of the whole residential unit whole residential tower so the position is okay uh, that you have chosen for your garbage chute but uh, this is how you can see that this is the uh, this is how the mechanism of the uh, garbage chute is you can see the packet this packet they he, they used to like open this uh, uh, stuff and they used to drop it down you know and uh, this is the first uh, what do you call it, type of uh, garbage chute and this is the part of the residential unit itself okay now here also you can see that this is also a garbage chute in the second image this is also a garbage chute and in this garbage chute you can see that there is uh, and uh, there is a machine actually and this machine I, i'll show you the mechanism of this machine that how it works right you can see there is two uh, the two most important components of this uh, machine is the first one is hopper inlet you can see this inlet in the third picture this is how we can open this inlet and the, after opening that we can drop it down and how you are going to open that you have a pedestal you know a foot pedal over here in the lowermost portion of this machine you can drop it down where i mean if you are going to drop it down through your hand it will open automatically and then you can drop that stuff and then you can close it okay now you can see the second uh, in the second slide you can see that basically the section of i mean the section or the front portion of that particular garbage chute you can see there is a cylindrical pipe and uh, that cylindrical pipe is connected with a hopper inlet in all floors this is going to be the part of the all part of all floors and this is going to be as of your shaft you know and uh, this hopper inlet you can open it this open uh, open this hopper inlet and then you can drop the garbage bag right so garbage chutes are common in high rise apartment buildings and they used to collect all the building's garbage in one place often the bottom up uh, end of the chute is placed directly above the large waste receptacle so you can see that this is going to be connected in each and every floor and at the bottom of this particular unit you can have a bigger what you call waste receptacle okay and this makes garbage collection more efficient i mean rather than collecting the bags from all floors or rather than uh, what you call going through all the, all the way through your staircase and through your lifts it's better to drop that garbage bag in this hopper inlet so chutes enable transfer of garbage from the different floors without the need of manually carry bags and bins up and down stairs and via the lifts to the waste storage areas and this increases the convenience to residents and can result in improved amenity obviously there is going to be like more hygienic in comparison to the manually carry bags and bins like uh, if you are going to carry that manually it is going to be like more to i mean that is not going to be like hygienic you know and this is going to be like more hygienic so now in the second next slide you can see the position of this garbage chute you can see this plan this is again a tower uh, what you plan of a cluster plan of a tower where you can see that this is going to be the first uh, first flat this is going to be the second one this is third and fourth so in a single floor you can have like four flats and these four flats are catered by just one staircase in the middle in the core basically then you have like lifts all over then you have uh, service areas right the panels and all that stuff and through the staircase you can have like it leads to uh, the place where you can have your 
garbage chute. So you can see the position of the garbage chute and this garbage chute is getting connected from outside, maybe from his, his, this side or this side or this side, right? So here you can see the placement or the position of the garbage chute. In this one also, you can see the position of the garbage chute like this in the ground floor, basically. You can see the ground floor. The same plan is this over here. This is the position of the garbage chute, but in the ground floor, it is going to be like the bigger one, right? So this is how it is getting connected. You can see the cylindrical like uh, slanted portion that this is the biggest bin. I mean, the bigger bin that is getting placed over to the ground floor and it is getting connected to outside of the building. You can see the ramp over here. This is the ramp and this is the door. Basically, the door will open by that cleaner and that he can come to this particular space. He can collect the garbage from this bigger receptacle and then he can get off to the particular place. In the next picture also, you can see that in this plan, this is also this is going to be the ground floor. This is set back right of three meters. Then you can see over here that uh, staircase is happening over here. And after that staircase, you can have that garbage chute. This is the garbage chute in the ground floor, right? This is actually the garbage room basically. Uh, where you can have a biggest receptacle in the upper floors in the same position you can see the uh, this basically is a garbage chute and it doesn't require too much of space as you can see over here it doesn't require too much of space right so in the ground floor this can be connected to the outside of the whole residential tower it is mandatory basically basically right over here you can also see there is a ramp and then there is a door and then you can have a room for that particular garbage area. Uh, coming up to the next slide, in this slide also you can see there are a lot many flats and that is like six in numbers. One, two, three, four, five and six flats total. It is getting connected by uh, the stairs and the lifts to all the floors and you can see the position of garbage chute over here also in both the staircases you can see the position of garbage and garbage chute and this is again going to be the part of the external facade of the building so it is going to be connected from the ground floor over here maybe some maybe this area or this area is getting getting connected now in the next slide you can see uh, the schematic layout of garbage chute for technical floors typical floors basically for each floor, as you can see, and this is the plate basically. This is the floor plate. So this is going to be one floor. This is another floor. This and these all are another floors. And in the lower portion of that particular garbage chute, you can see the biggest receptacle uh, can. You can say um, this is going to be like the mechanical mechanism should have to be like this. So if you are going to see that um, the whole section of this particular uh, garbage chute you can see that this is the central portion right and this is going to be again connected with all floors that joint ring is over here and through here I mean it is getting joined and then this basically thing this central portion or a cylindrical portion is getting connected to the hopper right hopper inlet and this portion the cylindrical portion is known as shoe tube this is shoe tube and this is getting connected in each and every floor through a hopper right and this is how it can work. You can see the working condition of this one. You can have uh, some of the remote controls like this one. You can have some buttons or something. And uh, either you can have some buttons or something, or you can have a manually foot pedal, right, in each and every floor. This is how it works. Uh, just a minute. This is how it works. You can see in the lower portion there is a there is biggest. And the garbage, what you call a trolley, basically, or a garbage uh, receptacle. And here it is getting uh, worked actually as a, as if it is going to be a lift, right? And each and every floor you can have this kind of hopper, and you can open this hopper from here, and you can drop the thing actually over here, and you can see uh, there is a cleaning sprinkler over here. You can have a cleaning sprinkler. All the times when you get opened. When it is getting oh, get opened, actually it gets opened. The sprinkler started sprinkling the liquid, you know, and then it will be like uh, it is going to be uh, it is going to clean the whole tube, you know, okay. And this is uh, yeah. Now it dip, uh, now it comes up to the dia of the shoot that how 
and uh, how you're going to design that garbage chute that how much of space it is getting required how much of uh, dia you have to take for that particular garbage chute now i can show you the dimensions in the next slide just uh, get off to the next slide you can see some of the plans and section of that particular garbage chute and uh, it consists of recommended chute diameter along with the plastic sack capacity and the numbers of apartment per shoot that how much of apartments you are going to have uh, i mean how it is getting catered basically that how much of apartment is getting catered by this particular uh, shoot right so this is the dimension of the shoot recommended dimension that you, either you can have like 500 mm dia or 550 mm dia or 600 mm dia 700 mm dia 800 900 mm dia I mean, it is going to be less than 1 meters right so 500 to 1 meters 500 mm to 1 meters of dia it is getting occupied by uh, this much of plastic sack capacity like uh, for 500 you can have you can use like uh, this 500 for 20 liters of sack capacity right then for 30 liters it is getting uh, stated as like 550 mm then 40 to 50 liters it is 600 to 700 mm then 45 to 60 it is 800 to 900 mm right so the number of apartments per shoot is accordingly this 500 mm of dia of shoot basically caters 21 to 30 number of apartments right so in our building in our case basically we use, we used to have 31 to 40 number of apartments so it's better to put 550 mm dia of shoot right so uh, in our condition we can take it as a 550 mm dia of shoot right and it will be having like a capacity sack capacity of 30 liters and that is not uh, like uh, less actually it is going to be like a nominal capacity of sack right and these are the basically plans of that particular shoot you know these are the plans of that particular shoots having 600 mm or 5 and this is for 500 mm shoot this is for 550 mm shoot this is for 500 again mm for shoot this is 500 mm shoot this is five, i mean everybody everything is of 500 this one is like 550 right and 650 mm hole mm hole through floor slab and this is how you can take the dimension 620 and 380 you know now in the next section you can see how it is getting connected to all floors through the ground floor you can see this is the biggest uh, hopper and let i mean this is connected to all all of the floors and here it, this is uh, the room which is in the ground floor right and this is not accessible to everyone this is just accessible to the uh, caretaker of that particular housing tower and uh, uh, the cleaner basically right and this is how you can see uh, the biggest thing which is getting connected to this hopper and this is how it works you can see over here this is a section of that particular uh, garbage chute or the garbage cart this is the garbage cart basically right so this is how you can see uh, the mechanism of garbage chute along with the garbage cart this is the next image uh, again the same image it is having like a uh, section and elevation of that particular garbage chute you can check it from here and having the dimensions also in inch uh, inch and mm also right the width and height basically this is width and this is height according